Hey, it's Carrie from Lovely Etc. We're gonna be making these cute DIY photo ornaments. I made them for my baby's first Christmases. On the back, they have their names. And today I'm gonna to make another one to celebrate the year that I got married. You could make them with favorite Christmas photos, other family photos to celebrate milestones. Pretty much any photos that are important to you make beautiful Christmas ornaments. These are great for decorating your own tree or to give as gifts, and they're super quick to make. So let's get started. The first thing you're gonna do is paint your ornament white on both sides. Next, you're gonna take your photo. I printed my photo out as a four by six size. You may wanna do a test to see a four by six or three and a half by five works best. You're gonna take your ornament and try to figure out exactly which part of the photo you want on the ornament, and then trace your ornament onto the photo. When you're cutting out your photo, cut a little bit inside the lines of where you traced so that you can leave a little bit of a white border on the edges of your ornament. It just makes it look nicer. Now you're going to take your Mod Podge and brush a thin layer all over the front of your ornament. And then press your photo into place, making sure it's straight and centered how you want it. And then press it firmly down working out any air bubbles that make it in there. Once your layer of Mod Podge has totally dried, you can brush a second layer on top of the ornament, going over the entire thing and again, just watching out for air bubbles. It goes on white, but don't worry, it will dry clear. This really seals the photo onto your ornament and protects the paper. Once the Mod Podge is all dry, you can either stop there or you can flip it over and add names and dates to the back. To add the lettering and names to the back, we're gonna use a super easy method for getting really beautiful lettering, even if you don't have great handwriting. So print out your words, first of all, your names or whatever else you're using, turn them over, and use a pencil to color all over the back of each name. Once you've covered the back with pencil lead, Take your ornament and place your names exactly where you want them to be. I cut each part of mine apart separately to make it easier to fit them on just where I want them. Once they're in place, it's a good idea to use a little bit of tape to hold them so they don't move around as you're working. And then take your pencil and trace around each letter firmly. Once you remove it, your letters are perfectly transferred. I like to use a Sharpie oil-based paint marker for any time when I am writing on a wood surface or a painted surface. So now I'm just gonna fill in my letters with my paint marker. I think a fine tip probably would have been even neater, but it still turned out pretty nice. Here's my finished photo ornaments. I'm pretty sure these are some of my favorite ornaments on our tree now. So that's how you make super easy, classy, beautiful DIY photo ornaments. I hope you make some to enjoy this Christmas for yourself or for gifts. And if you haven't, I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel, Lovely Etc., where I'll be sharing more DIY ornament ideas along with lots of other inexpensive ideas to create a home that you love.